Help me out here. What is this stuff? Broccoli? Broccoli. This is the last year we're going to have a big garden, so I thought you might be interested to see what we got in it. We've got a, a row of flowers. Ma likes her zinnias, and I like my cannas down here. And then we've got several rows of, uh, of uh, tomatoes. We've got 24 tomatoes in here. We've got some, some, uh, some sweet little ones. What do you call them? And we've got uh, a lot of pink tomatoes and big boy and big girl. We've got dill for my cucumbers. We've got carrots, a row of carrots. We've got a row of green beans. Then you go over here, we've got lima beans. Then we've got the beets with the red stalks down there. Then we've got kurabis and peas, which the rabbits really like. We've got radishes, they're gone. I got another second planting down there coming up pretty good. We've got lettuce. We've got a row of onions. These are the sweet onions that keep. I like them because I've still got some in the basement from last year. Yet. Then we've got yellow onions. I, mean, I used to plant white onions. They don't keep, so I just plant yellow now. Then we've got uh, 12 plants of uh, peppers, red and green bell peppers. We've got uh, cabbage. We've got cauliflower. And we've got uh, what do you call that stuff? It's got a big head on it. <laughs> Can't think of it now. Then we got two rows of potatoes. And we've got a lot of that. Karabi. Peas. We've got two different varieties of peas. We've got green beans over here. My cabbage plant. My cauliflower. Cauliflower starting to make heads in there. I can't think of the name of this stuff. Help me out here. What is this stuff? Broccoli? Broccoli. Yellow, zucchini, straight neck, and quick neck yellow squash. Here's my potatoes. We have two, two rows of potatoes, two varieties. Uh, Russet Burbank and Hmm. Can't think. Here's my second planting of radishes coming up. My cabbage again, making heads now. It's been so dry that it's pretty easy to take care of it this year. But, uh, they're making peppers already. And the tomatoes are starting to put little tomatoes on. <coughs> Kennebec. The Kennebec potatoes. And the reason I plant them is because they're both good keepers. They'll keep for a long time. Potatoes. I planted these with a, uh, a planter, a potato planter. Antique potato planter and a tractor. We have to go uh, the machines for cutting cutting the potato seeds and, and planting them and hilling them. And we got a digger for digging them. But I plant it in four plantings. This is my last planting in terms of four or five inches tall. There's my second planting down there. No, this is my second. No, that's, that's my third planting. This is my fourth planting. That's the third. This is the second. And my first planting down here is knee high. It's been a lot of fun making the garden this year, but it did freeze. We had a late frost and we had to cover the tomatoes with, uh, um, Karen covered the tomatoes with five gallon pails in order to save them. Sweet corn got nipped a little bit, but it didn't hurt it, so we were lucky. But as you can see, my sweet corn's knee high here already. And this is only the 16th of uh, yeah, 15th of June.
have a few potato bugs already. I've been watching them. I took them off. I just got done hilling the potatoes the other day. And I hilled this corn a little bit, and I'm going to do this one tonight. But that's what we've got this year. Then we've got three more rows of potatoes in another garden. Kind of back in roughly. These are the pink tomatoes from the Amish. They're the sweetest. They get about this big. Big like, like softballs. And, and they're real sweet. Sweetest tomato I've ever eaten. 